John, thanks for being with you. It's not the, being with us. It's not the first time that you've had a uh, an RBI double in the big leagues, but it's the first time in a long time. Can you take me through the at bat and just t tell me what was going through your head? Correct. So uh, honestly, I was looking for a pitch out over the plate. You know, there was a point, I believe it was a 2 0 count. He made a good pitch down for strike one. I continued to look out over and, uh, you know, just be, be prepared for something I can handle. And it was something there. And I took my best cut at it, to be honest, and I drove it down left of the line. It was great to see you be able to do that because when you made your big league appearance again on Saturday, it was the first time we had seen you at this level, John, since 2015. It's been a long, strange trip for you since that point. Tell me a bit about the call up when you found out you were coming back to the Bix. Uh Honestly, it was a, I don't want to say nerve wracking, but it was a, <laughs> it was an amazing moment. You know, I was kind of taken back. We're in the middle of a ball game. It was a tie ball game in the top of the ninth. So I was, you know, very locked into, you know, what was transpiring in, the, in that moment. You know, Rick Sweet kind of walked down the dugout and told me to go pack my bags. I was kind of thrown back. But uh, it was definitely a moment I won't ever forget. And for those watching that may not be um, privy to your story or know everything that's going on, 14 years ago this week, John, you were selected by the Phillies, and then you end up getting traded to the Astros. Great minor league season. You end up signing a contract really before even having your major league debut. Five years, $10 million. And then you struggled a little bit in the big leagues. Take us back to that point in your career. Uh, it was, honestly, it was a lot going on. You know, being the first person to, to have such a thing happen to them at such a young age, it was a lot that was expected of me. Uh, I wouldn't say too much, but just put me in a in a in a difficult in a difficult position. And you know, uh, as as the years as the years have progressed, you know, I've learned to to handle things a lot, a lot differently. How so? Tell me more about that. Uh, there's a lot of things I've, I've physically changed, emotionally changed, spiritually changed. You know, I've kind of taken a step step back, and of uh, I guess you could say I've considered what life is really about, what's really important in life, and uh, that has brought me to this point, full circle. Yeah, we have to talk about it because it's part of your story, but it's also a part of your redemption story. John, you signed that big Definitely. contract in 2014, five years, $10 million. Then in 2018, you end up getting suspended for the third time, this time for 100 games because of marijuana use. Do you think the pressure of signing a contract that large led you to the misstep? Honestly, uh, you know, there was a lot going on in my life. You know, uh, I would say I was definitely distracted at, at some point, you know, being so young, not knowing how to handle things. You know, uh, it, it's very difficult to be a young professional. Um, and I just, I, 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 honestly, that was the way I, I, I coped with it in that moment. There's something about your story that I like because you had an opportunity to uh, to redeem yourself and you did just that. You didn't have to go back uh, to the minor leagues, but the Brewers believed in you. Can you tell me about that moment when, you know, David Stearns and Quentin McCracken obviously saw something in you, John, that you still had what it took to be at this level? Uh, honestly, I've had a relationship with uh, David Stern and Quentin McCracken for quite a while since they were with the Astros at some point. Uh, me and Quentin actually have a really good relationship. We talk quite a bit. And uh, honestly, having conversations with Quentin kind of kept my head in, in, a, in a good space. And honestly, you know, the fire of me loving baseball never really left. It may have been dimmed for a moment, but I've always wanted to play baseball. I've always loved baseball. So it was just honestly, I'm grateful that this organization gave me a chance. And that's a really good way of putting it. You've always loved it uh, and you always wanted to play it, but sometimes it dims a little bit. How did you get yourself through that? Honestly, my wife, you know, she's been a she's been a rock for me. She's kept me in a good place for a long period of time. You know, we've been together for 15 years, so that's somebody I really depend on. That's great to hear. And I know you guys have two kids putting things into perspective. Did your daughter just Most have definitely. a was it a recital or was it uh, what what was she doing today when you got uh, your, your call back up to the bigs? She was actually having a uh, it was her her kindergarten rehearsal for her talent show. So I know she's very <laughs> excited for that. Yeah, that's that's great because I noticed on on the social media that's what you posted, not that you got the call back up. So tell me how perspective for you has changed about life, John. With all that you've been through, uh, I would imagine it has put some things into perspective for you. You know, definitely. Uh, you know, I'm a father first, I'm a husband second, and lastly, I'm a baseball player. So at this point in my life, you know, I realize what's really important, and I just I take it day by day, honestly. 
All right, you look like you could still play football. I know your dad was a football player at the University of Oregon. You have a stature yeah. to be a football player, but obviously Major League Baseball is your passion. What do you got to do, John, to stay at the big league level? Honestly, keep a healthy mental attitude. Um, and honestly, just take it day by day. You know, uh, don't, don't get too up. Don't get too down. Uh, rely on your support system. Uh, believe in yourself and just take it day by day. What does 2023 Major League Baseball player John Singleton tell 2014 John Singleton the day that he gets drafted? Wow. Um, I will tell him you are good enough as you are and enjoy the moment. Very good. John Singleton, we appreciate you taking the time to be with us. It's not always easy to talk about things in your past that you probably want to forget, but we appreciate it. We're excited for you. Congratulations on, you know, making it back to the big league level. We wish you nothing but the best. Thank you. I appreciate it.